Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory, GTCU Hard Mode. Alright, so here we are today, episode 105. In last episode, I believe we had just gotten the, well, no, we didn't finish it. We had been building the Mark II fusion reactor, but we ran out of time and we ran out of blocks. So between episodes, I went ahead and I got the MK2 casings that I needed. And you can see the whole thing is set up. Everything is ready to go. I look, if I open up the controller here, you can see it's Mark II. Has more energy storage than the Mark I. Uh, it's also running on ZPM, which I have a four amp connector right here with power going into the two, and then it cuts over and goes into the two on that side. All right, so I wanna get some fusing going while we have uh, are we recording? So I want to get titanium, right? Now titanium is going to need titanium and duranium. Duranium? I think duranium is better. Uh, but duranium needs radon and gallium, and that's going to take a good amount of time. So I've prepared everything in my little tanks here. So radon is already in there. But now we're going to pump gallium, which I have enough gallium to get about 500 ingots of the stuff let's put that right in there okay cool it auto drains good all right so that is pumping out and yeah we won't see wait what hello okay there's the uranium why wouldn't it go in the Okay, there we go. I don't know why it wouldn't drain, but uh, there. Now it is filling up. So, yeah. This is going to take a good amount of time. I'm not sure how long. Let me see. Do I have my... Doo -doo -doo. Uranium. It doesn't tell me what I needed. And no... Actually, hold on, let me do it this way. It was 147, 456 divided by 144. So that's 1,000. Yeah, okay, 1,000. 1,000 craft times 3.2 seconds divided by 3,600. So that's going to be about an hour of fusing. So what I can probably do is let this fuse enough duranium and then combine some titanium to get uh, the tritanium. So we'll get that before the episode ends for sure. And then once we finish the episode, I'll put the uh, stuff back in there to continue making Duranium. Okay, so chicken farm. I know I was building that last episode, or I had built it off camera last episode. And then I was starting to put um, spikes and vector plates and all that down in here. And somebody did comment... I think his name was Florin Iron. Flor I can't, I'm sorry if I butcher that. Florin. Florin. Let me see. Uh, Folin Iron. Fallen Iron. I'm probably butchering that still. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get a transformer for power in here. And then we're going to feed it. Um, let's see. What do I have? Uh, Platinum wire. I think platinum is non superconductive. Where's the 16 times? 16. Where's the wire? Dang it. There it is. Okay, so platinum wire is not superconductive, so I think this will work. So let's get a converter of IV, I believe. And we're going to need platinum wire. Uh, potentially would do. Okay, so while that crafts up, let's remove these spikes and try not to get hurt in the process. Okay, so the power conduits are somewhere down in here. So if that's the case there, 
Let's see. There we go. Now, I'm not sure what Y level we were at. Huh. There's a staircase that I had built at some point. Wait, hold on. Let me... Do this, and then we'll fly back up. All right, so pop down in here. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Um, okay, let's see here. I mean, you know what? Screw it. We don't really need to connect power here. We'll just do the transceiver. Uh, let's see, six, that's the one amp. Do we have the converter yet? There it is, wait, there it is, okay. And then we'll get a transceiver. We also are gonna need a octatic capacitor. So while that crafts, let's get this together. Okay, so, okay, and then over here, we'll plop down a converter. Uh, da, 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 da. And, bada boom. Okay, so I should probably stay away from that. There's the converter. There's the octatic. Now let me get out of the way so I don't get shocked in the process of turning this on. Okay, so... Let's see, I should be fine. Unless this is a not superconductor. Or and then unless this is a superconductor wire. Let's try the chicken farm and see what this does. Okay, it's not killing them. Um, is there, is it because we don't have, uh, let's see the end. Where's my sword? Do we have a sword? I don't think I've made a sword. Um, yeah, let's do this. I can't remember the command for this. Um, we actually might need the spikes unless. Hold on, let me check out the comment again. Bare non superconductors like gold and silver. Gold cable? I don't think. Where's the uh, 16 times? I, I don't think gold wire will work, but let's just try it. Okay. And then we're going to need a converter of HV. Hear that? Let's get that. Okay, that should be powered. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Unless for some reason, because we have armor on. No, nope, that's not doing it. All right, uh, I think we might have to resort to plan B then. Wait, unless, was this plugged in? Oh, it went into the system, didn't it? Uh, gold cable, gold cable. No, that's, uh, that's the output, that's for sure. 
Yeah, I don't know. Not doing anything. All right. I will put back these spikes and then we'll come back to this. Stupid chicken. Okay. So let's put that, let's turn this back on for a bit and see if this works. It definitely works. Let's close up that hole down there so we don't uh, have any chickens escape if we can get close enough. Blech. We might have to uh, sneak down there. Actually, no. Um... There we go. So those chickens will just be there for now. Okay, so hopefully that will fix that issue there. Okay, so... Chicken. All right, so we are getting meat. We are also getting experience. That's neat. Oh, the fluid, the, um, I can recall the uh, little particles of the XP we're not picking up. We could get a vacuum for that, a EXP vacuum. I know that there is an EXP variant of the little purple or the Ender IO vacuum right there. But uh, I will figure out if I want to put that in or not. I can just easily make a pattern and be done with it. Hmm. All right, so is this area chunk loaded? It should be. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we have chicken being farmed. And I think at some point we can upgrade the capacitor in the uh, farmer, get us more chickens. But for now, that will be running. Okay, so where is the fusion reactor? How much geranium do we have now? 6,000? Okay. Um, how much titanium or tri tri titanium are we going to need? Because we want to get that cleaner room, right? So let me do this. Oops, let me, hold on, let me look at the casing here. Okay, so we're going to need quite a bit of these. But if I were to replace the one up here with the sterile, I think, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 by 13. So let's do this. Let's go to our recipe chart. Um, let's do... Wait, ah, hold on. Uh, not that. Remove. Okay. So add root slot. There we go. Tritanium. Oh, God damn it. Selected. Okay, whatever. Got it. All right, so let's see. 13 by 13 minus 1 for the middle block. And we're going to need one, oops, 168. Okay, so for this then, oops, now we do like this. All right, and then the titanium frames. Oops, wait. Okay. 
And that's going to be... About 168 Tritanium. Uh, let's see. ZPM motor. Yeah, we're going to need to get into this soon. Um, black light. That's not too crazy. Neither is that. We will need a lot of Trinium, apparently. Uh, Bender? Bender? Wow, okay, so we're gonna need 2,000 ingots of Trinium. Oh boy, so this might take a bit. Um, let's see, solidifier? Where's the solidifier? Solidifier. We're going to need 24,000 bucket, mill buckets of tritanium, which means we're going to need about 48 buckets of duranium. Ignoring that for a minute. How's our tritanium? Ooh. Wait, did it? Is it? Doing what I think it's doing. Okay, yeah, it is putting all of our trinium in there. So let's see, 74,000 divided by 144. That's still about 500 ingots. So we are going to need, we are going to be short on that by about a fourth or three fourths rather. Um, okay, so I might have to hold off on making too much of this. But this is, wait, that's sulfate. Wait, where did the, uh... okay, here we go. Zinc and tritium sulfide. Where does the tritium sulfide come from again? Oh, Caimanite. Okay, so I'm going to send off more of these missions then. So, let's see. So I'm going to get 24 per one of these. So if I do 10, yeah, that'll do. I don't think we get anything from Snow Chest yet, right? Oh, it's mostly used for the Pyromorphite? Which... Am I doing anything with this? That's all gotten. Mm. Okay. Trinium dust as a whole, that comes from, again, the Caymanite. And Caymanite, yeah, okay. So we are going to need more of those Caymanite missions to be sent off. Um, but we could maybe get at least one of these casings. That doesn't seem too terrible. But we are going to need our trinium back in ingot form. Okay. So let's focus on the ZPM here first. Um, I'm going to have to make a dedicated trinium extractor for the assembler for when we do need to make uh, casings. So, yeah, let me remove the trinium from here so it's not melting anymore and it's already melting more. Oh, you do have a solidifier anywhere? I do. Okay, so let's tank. Uh, do I have a free tank? Got a free tank here. Okay, let me go grab our trinium. Go back. Let's get this solidified back up into ingots. Okay. We should have trinium again. Yes. Wait, did I do my math completely wrong? Come on, how did... It said it... Had 74 buckets. Can't 
can't be right. Wait. Hold on. Am I just derp? I thought I... Oh, I didn't put everything in there because it has a limited space. Okay, duh. So that will take a bit of time. How much can it fit? 16 buckets? Really? It's a bit small. Okay, um, let me do this. Let me go ahead and get a new IV tower and then I'll start with making a extractor to keep so much tranium fluid in the system. We need... Wait, how much tritium do we need? Hold on, let me, let me, tritium. Okay, for the superconducting block, we need at least, well, do we need this anytime soon? We kind of do, I guess. Well, for fusion, for the casing, and for the coil block. Uh, I don't, maybe we can get by without it for the time being. Okay, so we have all of our training back in the system now. Maybe I'll hold off for a bit. Okay. Um, titanium, right. So we want to get at least that done. So let me go back to the fusion reactor. All right. And... Got quite a bit there. Let me remove this. And then I'm going to break this. Because why not? Okay. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put the duranium in there. And then... Move the gallium. There's the gallium. Okay. And then put in the titanium. There we go. Okay, so that's going to start making us some titanium. And per usual, I will put that right there. And there we go. I don't think we have any other tanks on us, unless they're in my satchels, which is likely. No? Okay, I guess uh, I turned the magnet mode off on those, or... Oh, you know what? The tanks are... Yeah, they're in there. That's fine. Um, okay, so let me grab a new tank then. Doesn't even have to be a big tank. I'll just grab a small tank. And we'll go in here. And we have some titanium. Let's go pop back up into... Here, and solidifier. We need to get rid of that. Grab that, that in. All right. So now we should be able to pop out titanium ingots. Sweet. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so titanium. So that's now opened up. Now we have the filter casing quest. Um, I'm going to need eight for the quest. So let me change that to an eight. Okay, so we still need about 96 tritanium, which isn't a big deal. We're going to need about 8 tritanium. Oh, we won't have the fluid on us, right? Okay, so that's going to take a bit. So let me pop back up here, and we'll focus on the other parts of this component. So we're going to need ZPM motor. For one, um, osmium rounds. We're gonna need a lathe, but we should have that. Okay, so let's get this going here. Ass line. Now, what's the ZPM? Okay, so it doesn't need that much voltage. And then I think the other thing is the emitter. 
And it's going to knock with the alloy. Did we start making that yet? I don't think we have. Let's see what we're missing here. Oop. Oh, okay, so we need like the foil and we need, okay, wait. I'm saying we need to drop that. Naquita alloy. Oh, we do have a Naquita alloy. Okay, so I guess we need to bend that out into the components. So we need the alloy frame. Okay, so the alloy frame. the frames go here and I don't think that frame needs a special voltage right no okay and then knock with the alloy lathe there we go should be able to make that yes okay now ZPM so we need rounds Osmeridium uh, rods and the rings. Osmeridium ring. Wait, does that need anything special again? No, it needs HV. That's about it. Ring, ring, HV, good. And then long rod, which is, wait. I know I have a hammer for that. Here we go. And then we need, also need a single rod, because we don't have that. So I have a feeling that we're gonna need to go extend our lathe. Oh, we still have slots somewhere, right? No? Yes? No. Okay. Face. Uh, we're in time. Okay, we're running short here. Pop. And there. And there. Not good, I can type. Okay. Long. Bing, bang, bada, boom. ZP. Oh, we still need the rounds. Uh, Osmeridium. Round. Lathe. Bada boom. Okay, let's see if we can make the motor at least. Oh, we're missing something. Nut nuggets? Oh. Good point. Hey, there we go. Alright, so can we make the emitter? Missing the tritium foil. Okay. So tritium foil. That is the matter of plates. I don't think we have the plates. No, we don't. Okay. No problem. Middle bender. Oil. And plate. ZPM. Motor. Oh, wait, did it finish? A. Sorry, I had to edit my ear there for a second. All right, so there's that. Then we will request the emitter. So we're probably going to be continuing with the sterile clean room blocks next episode because we are out of time here. Um, where is the emitter? Okay, it's working on the trinium right now. And uh, as we get, once we get the sterile clean room blocks, we'll be able to make the engraved crystal chips that much easier. Um, in fact, I think this might be an issue right now. We might not have enough emeralds going in here because the percentage of the chip being being made from the emerald is 
So, yeah, once we get the sterile clean room, then we'll be able to take, you know, the rock chips and have an 80% chance, which I think it will basically be 100%-ish or close to it because that's HV, right? Um, but the broad crystal chip... Yeah, this is like a weird loop. So we'll make one, but then we'll hammer to get the parts, and then the parts will be turned into the chip again. This seems like a circular recipe. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so that is going to be it. I oh, wait, we need the emitter. Um, yeah, this might take a bit. Okay. Oh, that's the Caymanite mission. Yeah, this still might take a bit. But, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, we'll come back to episode. next episode. Hopefully we'll have all of the fluid ready to go. And, yeah. Hope you did enjoy. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.